Viewers, firstly, mate, congratulations on your season and uh, stark contrast to what we've seen in the last couple of years. Uh, the place just must be absolutely buzzing at the moment. Yeah, it's been good. Um, obviously, like you said, it's been a great start to the season. You know, top of the table, seven games in. No one at the start of the season would have predicted that. But we know it's only seven games. There's still a long way to go and we're looking to build momentum and continue with this good run of form. From your perspective... What's the change? I mean, defensively, it just looks like it's such a cohesive unit now. Is that what you're seeing from the back? Yeah, obviously, defensively, you know, we're a lot stronger um, than we were last season. Obviously, Ruan's come in. He's made a big difference. Rolls is having a fantastic season. You know, it's hard for me to pinpoint players, but just overall, um, you know, all over the field, you know, everyone's contributing um, their part. Um, and it's just a good place to be at at the moment. There's a bit of belief in the group. Um, you know, everyone's upbeat. And we're going into games feeling a lot confident, knowing that we're going to win a game. Depend Whoever we come up against, um, you know, we don't feel scared. We don't feel threatened by who we're coming up against. Um, you know, like I said, there's confidence in the group that whoever we play against, we're going to win. Yeah, with Ruan, well, what do you think the change is? I mean, he's been a journeyman, but this year, career best form. Yeah, obviously, Ruan's had a great pre-season. You know, he's got himself in, in good condition. Um, and he's just an animal at the moment. Like, there's no way getting past him. And, um, you know, Ruan's got massive potential. Um, and, you know, he's going to grow. Um, you know, he's got a big future ahead of him. So the more games he plays, the better it is for him. Hey, by the way, did it fill your heart with joy watching Allo last week? Like, that little cameo... There were just some phenomenal moments. One of them didn't lead to a goal, the fourth opportunity for you guys, but just the style of play was sensational to watch. Yeah, there's no um, there's no surprise with Alou. You know, he works hard day in, day out, and you know, the kid's getting his rewards. He's a he's another fantastic talent that we've got coming through at the club. But not only him, there's a lot of other young players who are biting at the tail to get the opportunity. So it's just real positive signs at the club, you know, with these young players coming through. You know, I'm sure you'll see over the next coming weeks, you know, some more young players coming through and, you know, showcasing what they've got. I was watching defensive set pieces last week. And for you, is it a godsend having a Renya back there? Like, uh, you know, I think at one stage, like you could just see his experience defensively at some of those set pieces. Yeah, obviously, uh, it was disappointing to give away a set piece goal. Um, you know, I think it was the first goal. You know, we pride ourselves on, you know, not giving giving away cheap fouls, especially when Western have the quality of Diamante who can put in world-class delivery. So the whole team was disappointed that we conceded a set piece. Um, you know, it was the first set piece we've conceded this year. Last season, you know, we conceded too many goals from set pieces. But, um, yeah, like you said, having Marco in the squad, um, Massive experience, played in big games, World Cups, big clubs overseas. Um, so, yeah, just adding that quality in the team will, will help the team in the future. I think I know what you're going to say here, but uh, is this game this weekend, is it like payback time for the Mariners? Like, this is the one that slipped away at home, wasn't it, against the Phoenix? Yeah, look, um, you know, that hurt. To concede a goal three minutes to the end, you know, was disappointing. And I thought we were the better team that day, but just didn't get the three points. Um, you know, we'll be looking to bounce back against them. It's going to be a tough game. Wellington have a good squad. Um, you know, they're playing good football. Results aren't going their way at the moment. Um, so we need to make sure we do everything right to um, go out there on Sunday and, and get all three points. Have you studied their last match? I think it was another 2-1 result against Sydney FC. Yeah, obviously, like I said, uh, it was a game that, you know, if they look back on it, it's a game they probably should have won. You know, I thought they were the better team that day. Um, and I'm sure they're going to bounce back on Sunday. Um, you know, it's a big game for them. You know, we need to be up for it. It's going to be a tough game down there, um, but we'll be ready. You know, we've had a good week on the training pitch and the boys are upbeat, confident. And like I said, Regardless who we play, you know, we're going into games a lot confidence confidence this season um, and I'm sure we will we will go out there, put in a good performance and take all three points. Uh, i just got one more question. There's been a lot spoken about the leadership group this year and you're part of that. Um, is that where you feel like you've really stepped your game up, uh, just being an on-field leader? 
Yeah, of course. Obviously, we sat down at the start of the season with the coaching staff and um, they penciled, you know, what they wanted to get out of me this season. Um, and I needed to improve that kind of role, you know, being an older head in, in the group, um, just being that real leader for the young kids, um, you know, not emotionally getting attached to the game. You know, last season, you know, my emotions kind of took over and, um, you know, kind of couldn't concentrate, you know, uh, in pivotal moments of the game. Um, so I've done a lot of work on that, but we've got a fantastic leadership group. You know, Ollie, you know, big addition to the playing group, brings a lot of experience to, to the team. Um, you know, Simo as well, don't have to say much about Simo, he's just club legend, fantastic leader on and off the field. And Rosie as well, you know, he's a young one coming through and, you know, this role that he's got being part of the leadership will, will help him grow as a player and as an individual as well. Yeah, massive. We've been uh, been very lucky. We've we've had um, heaps of home games, um, you know, and the results. You can see the the crowd are starting to come back, um, which is good. You know, there's nothing. There's no better feeling than than having a big crowd watching you watching you at your home game. So we've got a tough month coming up. A lot of away games, and um, you know, we're looking to continue this good run of form. Um, give the fans what we want. Um, I think we've got four games away. Um, build this momentum and you know hopefully on Sunday we get a big support down in Wollongong you know our fans are fantastic you know it'll be a massive help um, and like I said continue this run and then come back home and hopefully see a full house at uh, Central Coast Stadium for our next home game.